Hi, my name is Stefan Escher with RestoreHealthUSA.com, and welcome to another edition in our series on how to take charge of your health. Today we're going to talk about point number four, which is keep a copy of your medical record at home. Sounds basic enough, but you can't imagine how important this is. I'm sure many of you out there have experienced where you go to one doctor and then you go see another doctor, and nobody seems to know what the test showed at the last hospital or, or what happened to you over there and, and what the image was, etc. Well, it's time to be your own advocate right now. Until our health care system is all ironed out, which may be a while, then maybe we'll have a nationalized system in which all the information is available to everybody. But right now, you've got to be your own best advocate. So, how do you do that? I recommend that you request three major documents. Those associated with your outpatient care, your inpatient care, and any imaging, etc. We're going to go through each one now. Outpatient means when you go see your doctor, it is clinic in the outpatient, not in the hospital. What I would recommend is you ask for your records once a year. Get a copy of the MD's notes. They should say what happened when you came to see the physician, what your concerns or complaints were, how they addressed them, and what the plan was for you. It's good to have those. Next, for any inpatient stays that you've had, meaning you've stayed in a hospital, I recommend that you ask for copies of your history and physical and your discharge summary. The history and physical is what a doctor writes when you come into the hospital. They write why you're there, what the history of, of what happened, etc. And they write a brief physical that says on their evaluation, their examination, what you looked like, what was going on. And they also have in there their plan of action, what they're going to do while you're in the hospital. How are they going to address your problems? Then the discharge summary. This is when you've gotten well, hopefully, and you're getting discharged home, ideally. In this, they describe blow by blow what they did how it went, how it didn't go, and the like. So for example, if you came in with crushing chest pain, they might do the whole history and physical saying how they were concerned about that you were having a heart attack or the like, and what they were going to do. All the different blood work and the EKG monitoring, the echoes, etc. Then on the discharge summary they'd say, here's what happened. We did this test, this test, this test. These were the results of the test. This is how the patient did, home they went. So ask for copies of both of those. Next, and finally, imaging and procedure reports. This is all of the x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, and the like that you may have had. You can request them on a disc so that actually you can play it on your own computer, which is quite fascinating to see. But even more importantly, you want that disc so when you go back to your primary care provider or another physician for a second opinion of the rest, that you have access to those images right there. Then also any procedures or operations that you've had. If you've had surgery, you should have a one-page report on what they did during the surgery and how it went. So when you go to your primary care doctor in the outpatient or a specialist in the outpatient or to the hospital, you sign a form that's a, saying that you uh, approve them to give you these papers. So you sign the form, the document, you give it to them. By right of law, you are able to get copies of this. Then you get copies of each of these. Now what I recommend is you take them home with you. You make one more copy for yourself. You put it into a black binder or any other color you like. You keep it in your closet or somewhere safe. And then that other copy of the records you take with you whenever you go to the physician. All right? So this way you can be your own best advocate. The last thing you want to be is stuck in a position in which a physician needs information to try to help you, yet doesn't have access. It delays your care and can quite potentially result in unnecessary tests and not the best health care for you. Again, we're here to help you achieve your best health and to get the best health care. So check back in for some of the rest of our series on points one, two, three, and five. All right. For more great health tips, swing by RestoreHealthUSA.com.